Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are we ready? Oh, so now I think uh, I think I just yeah. So we will talk about the room. Yeah. Look at the open thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we cannot do that here now. Um, she's not available. The scheduler is not she's available. Not available. No. Oh, so we have to call her. You can call her. Email her. Well, Maybe the when schedule will be available in a little while. Um, I don't know. I don't know her schedule. You can wait a few minutes. All right, you're more than welcome to wait. That's what we'll do. Thank you. Well, wait. Would you like to see? Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Say, um, chairs. Okay, guys, uh, let's have seats, grab seats, and then wait. We're going to wait for a little bit. It's not available. Okay, I'll let you know. All right. Anyone need to sit down or chair? Yeah, Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Here's a chair to you and tell the person coming back if you need it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we are here to see Michelle. Uh, Milan, she's not here. She's not here. Yeah, so. We wanted to schedule a meeting, so she said the schedule. Sure, absolutely. If you'd like to email me your request, that's how we do it. I need my cell phone and email her. She's not here. That's yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Okay. So we'd like to schedule Where's today. Uh, well, she's not available today, and she's booked through the rest of December. Who's the other? Hi, okay, everybody. Are you going to grab the camera? Shows to the staff. Can you understand that you want to speak to somebody else besides the congresswoman? Oh. You take the Michelle's place. Am I taking her place? Yeah, watch she's gone, watch oh, she's out. Yep, absolutely. Oh. Oh, you are the key she's staff on your staff? Yeah, she's the staff. Yeah, I'm Cuba. Yeah, I'm Cuba. Yeah, Cuba. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we are the 99%. We are the Minnesota Software Economy. We are the Minnesota Oh, you guys are from Minnesota? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. West Coast, yeah. Minnesota. Yeah. 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 What part? Yeah. Twin Cities or? Twin Cities. Okay. Yeah. 
Rochester, home of the Mayo Clinic. I'm from Stillwater. Yeah, cool. But I lived in South Minneapolis for the last. I'm not going to tell you how many years you have. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you how old I am anyway. Yeah. 40s in Chicago, Phillips, anybody? Okay. Nobody? I'm Central. Central? Close yeah. enough. Fifth Avenue. Yeah. Understood. Anyway, okay. Yeah, definitely we would like to deliver our message to her personally. Mm -hmm. But uh, since she's not here and the schedule that uh, she's telling us, <laughs> we can't no. wait that long here. The congresswoman is busy. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy to listen. Well, yeah, we have uh, folks, as you may know, we are the 99%. Uh, we bring in the, the fight to the, the Congresswoman okay. because we represent the 99% and we think that they can do better than they are doing to help us out, not just the 1% of the population. People are definitely suffering without the voters yourself. So this is our message for her, and uh, we have uh, stories that we would like her to hear from ourselves, from you know, all of us, from individuals living her in her constituents. But since she's not here, I hope you take this message to her, tell her we were here, and uh, we would like her to act on our behalf, mm -hmm. not giving the court to the big banks try to uh, consider the 99 percent too because we are the real uh, people not the corporation yeah they are not real they are not human the way they are behaving you know they want to also believe that they are but they are not so we are very you know sad that she is not here well you know to her credit she is actually out listening to the people on the street. She's not just being a bureaucrat here, you know, she's not just standing around. In fact, we don't allow reporting and devices here. Thank you. Uh, she's not just, you know, holed up in, in an office someplace. She's out listening to people with very similar concerns, and they may come from so poverty, many different poverty. walks of life, yeah. and they may not, you know, all agree with exactly you, but some of them do. So she is hearing. I think the voice is rising. Yeah, the voice is rising. But I, we think our voice is louder than anybody else's <laughs> voice because 99% versus 1%. That's a lot of people, right? Yeah. Do you have a pen and a piece of paper so maybe you can just write her a little letter and everybody signs it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Sure. We want to do that? Yes, we'll do that. Okay. Okay. So when did you guys arrive in D.C.? Yesterday. Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Actually this morning. Did you drive? Yeah. To the, the bus. bus. Oh, a thousand I'm miles. 24 I'm hours on the bus. Oh, oh, my gosh. Same thing so going home. Oh. I did that from Denver to uh, Tucson, Arizona, and it was like the best time of I've ever had. I was 18 years yeah. old. My mom, crazy mother, um, we allowed me to get on a bus all by myself in Denver, Tucson. I met some of the neatest people, but it's a, that's a long 24 hours. Well, that's our experience. So, we're very appreciative. However, like you said, uh, we know the lobbyists got more money. And we do what we got more people. Even Michelle hates yeah. those bailouts, too. You know? yeah. Michelle doesn't agree with those yeah. Yeah. handouts. Yeah. She doesn't. That's the thing, you know. That's one of our slogans, you know. The banks get the bailout, and we get the. B A C H M A N N. What's that? Uh, thank you for listening to us. You know, all we can do is appeal to your sense of judgment and that. And maybe there, we hope there's going to be power in people. There has to be power in something these days, right? Well, something a lot of us are unemployed. Like, I'm an old man with gray hair, and I get to be home watching TV. But I'm thinking of the young people, because this country was a lot different when I was their age. It was a wonderful country. And now the jobs have gone to China. Yes, I really, I had a meeting at 12.15, and so I do at 15 minutes late now. I need to go. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very for much. Something I'm serious.
No, we did. We drove 24 hours on the bus, just like you were just talking about, to come here and staying out on the mall uh, to make sure that people know we're in a lot of offices. But we wanted to come to, to our congresswoman's office to let her know that we were here and that these issues are important to us. So, is there any chance that she's going to be back later in the day? She <laughs> had to come pick up her coat. Both are rolled. <laughs> Okay, what's your name? My name is Brooke. B R O O K E. Do you have a business card today? Yep. I have what's one. What's your last name? It's B L T B I A L K E. B what? Here you go. B I? Yeah, it's right here. Oh, here, if you want to talk to me. But you know, this is our schedule we have met, and if you are ever here on an individual basis or would you know, like to talk to our legislative team, you can make, you can make an appointment to do that. No problem. And, you know, I hope you're also speaking, not all of you are from the 6th district, obviously, so I hope you're speaking to um, your representatives, too, Mr. Allison. That's all right. Thanks. Ms. McCollum and things. I hope you're speaking to them. Oh, no. We're welcome to listen to even you. I'm just saying. Excuse me. I'm here to be the voice for the 